Alright, today I was just going to do a video on etching the glass on my computer. It's the one I usually use to do my designs on my indoors. So, and this is the design that I'm going to do. Yeah, so I'm going to put that design and then try and put it between like the top up here and this bottom. So that centre. Hopefully the lights that are in there should light it up. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be attempting today. Okay, before I do it on the main glass, I've just cut a few out and I'm going to just do a couple tests on them. I'm going to send it at, yeah, I'm just going to send it the same as my acrylic, 400 speed, 10 power with no air assist for now. And I'm just going to do a test and as it goes, I'm going to pause it on the machine, change it on the fly from there. I've changed the image mode on these to diver because they ain't been divvered yet, so like, I didn't put them in image R or anything like that. So I'm just going to send them like that and I'm just going to do a little test and, like I say, change my settings over there as it goes. So I'm just going to send that for now. Try a bit closer up. Yeah, that's how they come out, but you can see on that first one where it's not quite as dark when I slowed it down a bit it started to darken out a bit I mean this now, up the top here, which was 200 speed and a 15 power looks pretty good to me, so that's what I'm going to send it as Alright, I just wanted to quickly show how I worked out where my design was going what I did was measured the full glass and then on here I click frame and then look, if I do that you'll see framing the whole glass then I just made this little box the correct width of the little black stripe just to make sure that that matched up and then framed that and then the last thing just to check I measured the other black lines which was three quarters of an inch just made a three quarter inch square put it in this top corner and just made sure that looked about right so now I know all that's correct this is the green this green line here is the area that I wanted it within because there's other stuff down the bottom of my computer as you see so I wanted it up the top here I've mirrored it but I haven't inverted it and really normally on glass you would because it's shooting lighter but instead of having a dark background behind I've got lights behind which is going to light these up so that is why I've not inverted it but I have mirrored it because I'm putting it on the back of the glass so you can see it but not touch it from the front so yeah just wanted to show the working out of that you could I mean you could put the design straight in there and just frame that and you know get it roughly correct but I mean if you want to get it exactly that's the way that I've found to do it so yeah now I'm going to go over there I'm sending this at a 200 speed and a 15 power which is going to take a while, but I can get on with some other stuff. The glass is pretty safe, really, to cut, you know, to etch because it's not flammable or nothing. So, yeah, it does say hour 27 minutes. So, I'm going to put this on a time lapse and then I'll be back after that. So, that's the settings I'm sending it at 200 speed and a 15 power, 318 dots per inch on dither, dither mode so yeah I'm going to send that now ok so it's sent over now and as you see the glass was in place so now I've just got the design if I frame that it should be in about the right place which it looks like it is
Okay, I didn't touch it yet, I just opened the lid and got an alcohol wipe here. I'm just going to give it a little wipe over because I see it's a little bit misty. Yeah, I still got to give it another rub off, but that's how it came out. This is still the back of it, so let me flip it over. Yeah, pretty pleased with that so far. I'll get it wiped off and get it hooked back on the computer and see how it looks from there. And then with the light off, they glow up nice, kind of like individual. Can maybe do with one more light in there. I put an extra LED in the bottom of the case just to light that bottom part up more. You could probably push the machine a bit faster with a bit higher power. I just prefer it a bit slower with the lower power. So just do your testing and see what works best for you.